Hi everybody and welcome to Heidi's home. I have a grocery haul for you guys and I apologize I have not been putting out videos like I really want to. Things um, just don't happen as planned <laughs> and uh, you ever have that <laughs> in life but anyhow I'm getting ready to have some company and my husband and I, we had already previously needed to go to the grocery store anyhow. So, um, even though now I'm planning for company, that I still, I had this uh, Walmart haul planned for you guys for about four or five days now. And I just found out I'm having company. I uh, found out they were coming yesterday. So, they're supposed to be here either tomorrow or the next day. So, um, I'm just going to share with you real quickly what I bought because I know you guys love to watch my grocery hauls. And I got to tell you guys, groceries are so expensive and ridiculously so. I mean, it is ridiculous what you see right here and understand it's about three-fourths of my table because I have clean clothes back there sorry guys um but not even all of it is food some of it is cleaning products listen two cans of this twelve dollars <laughs> it's ridiculous um anyhow I can remember when we used to get these pizzas except for they were the name brand ones and they were really cheap and they're not anymore so yes so i just thought i would tell you that this here was 176 dollars worth of groceries and it sickens me y'all it really really does now some of these things are not groceries but still 176 dollars really it's crazy milk's almost three dollars and um, so, if you are somebody who pinches the pennies, I am going to tell you to always raid your pantry before you go to the grocery store. Utilize what you have so you don't have to spend as much when you go, so you don't waste anything. The second thing is, is that make a meal plan. And so, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button. Um, so, I did buy some things that I don't usually buy. I'm not going to lie. I stocked up on these pizzas because my husband is blind. And we were talking the other day that it would be a really good idea if we had a few things that he could just throw in a microwave. Because, like, what if I get sick? Or what if I'm not home? You know, things like that. What if, you know, I need to take care of something and he gets hungry. So, I bought these little microwave pizzas. So, I've got the pepperoni ones and I got cheese ones right there. And, you know, tell me if you guys ever eat those because we have never had those, these kind before. But I think they'll be relatively easy to fix. Got some whipped topping. A head of lettuce. Two things of Jimmy Dean hot sausage. Gallon of milk some pepperoni. I usually buy stick, but it's gotten so outrageously priced that I just went with the Hormel Pepperoni Original. Two things of the ham. Thing of onions. I never thought that I would pay that much for onions, I'm just going to say. But listen, make a meal plan out of what you're going to eat, utilizing what you already have, and uh, remember, you guys are not alone. If you guys are complaining along with me that groceries are expensive, you know, there's a smart way to shop. So I've got some eggs, two things of hamburger meat. That thing of hamburger meat right there was $19, and there's one below it. Crazy. I got, yes, Bella's coming to see me, and I bought her a giant lamb chop. My mother's going to kill me, but that's okay. Um... I got some freezer bags because I was completely out and I needed them. I got diced tomatoes. Also, another thing that I can tell you about saving on your grocery budget money. Cook things that you can get more than one meal out of. So, this week I'm going to be making a ginormous pot of vegetable soup. Just sounded really good. I know it's super hot outside. But um, I'm going to do that and probably some ham and Swiss pinwheels to go with it for my company. I think it'll be really good. 
So I got some peppers and so I got whole kernel corn, peas, and I got two of each of these. So some sliced carrots, some more corn, that one, some more carrots. Then I bought a mushroom spaghetti sauce. I still have some, but I'm planning to make spaghetti one night as well as um, pizza. So I use spaghetti sauce with my pizza because we love it that way. I bought, you'll see a lot of generics in my haul. Uh, got the toilet cleaner as well as um, this. Now listen, I'm getting ready to go on a trip and I needed some Lysol to put in my bag to take with me, but I needed one that had a lid. So there was not a whole lot to choose from other than these. So I'm gonna be uh, packing one of these in my suitcase with the lid. I got some uh, old El Paso um, taco shells. They did not have any generic brand of those. Let's see, I was out of bouillon cubes. And let's see. Oh, hold on one second. I'm moving around here. I got two things of cookies. I like these wafers. So I got the strawberry ones and the vanilla ones. Those are really good. Big thing of mozzarella. A thing of bacon. You're here in my chair behind me. I'm pushing out of the way. Some celery. I'm trying to move this. I got two things of frozen sweet peas because I'm going to be making my, um, I think it's either seven or five layer salad. We've got some cheese. I got some baby Swiss and some pepper jack. We love our pepper jack in this house. And we also got some seasoning. Now I'm gonna tell you this is the first time I've seen this seasoning since COVID started. And I just happened to run on it today. And so I stocked up as you can see. We got some beef stew, beef stew, beef stew, beef stew, and then meatloaf. I have yet to see meatloaf seasoning, and I bought it today because they have not had it forever. Also got, there's some more sweet peas and some cut green beans. I love green beans. Some sliced potatoes, cut green beans whole potatoes and cut green beans. I got four packages of the Raymond noodles. This is the cup because I think that Ronnie can actually brew the hot water on the Keurig machine and just um, have it in these and that would make it really easy for him to fix those. We're going to try it out one day. Here is the crescent rolls for the pinwheels. I bought a white cake mix. I got a recipe and I forgot to check it and exactly what I need, but I think a white cake mix was the only thing that I was missing. Got um, some biscuits, some sour cream. I do have a few baked, a few potatoes left, so we might actually finish those off and have just a baked potato. And that is it. That is all I bought. And that was $176. And here is my two loaves of bread. Oh, you know what? There was one more thing. Hold on, let me This is you. my freezer. Looks a little bared on it. Um, this is the reason why I needed to go to this store. Uh, so I got these deep dish pie crust. I'm gonna make a couple uh, of my coconut custard pies. I think they'll be really good for something different. I've been hang, I've had a hankering for it. Anyways, left in here are some chicken and some hash browns. And, uh, oh my gosh, it's just time to go to the grocery store. Time, time, time. And can you see my fridge? <laughs> I look like I don't own any food. This is so awful. But anyways, I always keep a meal plan up here on my refrigerator. That helps me save money. And I try to make meals that are going to extend out for a long period of time. So, I need to clean the floor. You see? And I need to put these groceries up. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Tell me if you found something very outrageously priced besides gasoline, which I'm so grateful I don't have to buy. I ride the bus. But I'm very grateful for that bus these days. Very hot here. We're trying to beat the heat. 
I hope this video finds every one of you doing well. Leave me a comment. Ronnie and I love to read them. And I promise there's going to be video content coming soon. Forgive me. Forgive me. I have just been excruciatingly busy. Things have come up and things unplanned, company unplanned, all those kinds of things. But um, I feel like I'm getting back on the road of things. So everybody is well here, just very busy. Hope you guys are doing well. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And thanks so much for watching. You all have a fantastic week. Bye, guys.